This guy is gonna like narrate our every move like a weirdo. Okay, dude, I don't like that. I don't appreciate it. It's not nice. That's the way, son. I love watching your rippling muscles swing at those rocks. Oh, yes, let's oil him up. Okay, that got a little weird. What is up, guys? It's Adam Bomb, and welcome to Melting Hearts 2. Now, if you guys think that this game looks a little bit like Stardew Valley, that's because it is a similar genre and a similar idea, and it's kind of tough that it came out right after Stardew Valley because they are very similar games, but we're going to play through it and see what happens, and you guys will have to let me know what you think about this game. So it looks like we've just arrived in this town. Ugh, what a miserable place. Was this some kind of a joke? So we're meant to give this dump a try? Apparently. Why would we want to live in a place like this? I doubt there's even a single decent chai latte place around here. So, okay, so these, these kids are hipsters. Like, chai latte? Okay, chai lattes are pretty good. With that dead-end job and no girlfriend in sight, you probably see this as a new shot at life. Ouch, man, that's a burn. But there's still hope for you. You don't have to throw it all in. You're better than these people. Wow, dude, what a butt. Don't look at it like that. I get it. It was their dying wish and all. So this is like the same premise as Stardew Valley. Like a dying wish sends us to an old town. But this place is beyond dire. I barely have the reception to send a text message. Look, we have to give it a go. I guess I'm really busy right now. I'm a big time doctor and I'm engaged to a supermodel. Wow. I don't think it's fair that I should have to drop some everything to come to some frozen wasteland to sow seeds. What are we even supposed to grow in this climate? Ice blocks? Oh, man, that's brutal. Savagery. Okay, fine. You're my little brother. I have to look after you. Let me go settle a few things back home. Then I'll come back to give you the honest try with you. I'm sure you'll manage alone for a couple days. Just don't get sick. Wow. Wow, we got a serious douche for another brother. Uh, the older brother. Gross. I just stepped in some cow pie. If you guys don't know what a cow pie is, it's a big plop of cow poop. Okay, so is this our farm here? What is going on? What do we got here? Oh, wow. So the graphics are definitely different than Stardew Valley. You can't deny that. They got their own style, and I kind of like it. Oh, it's a drawing of our family. Oh, that's sweet. Why, was our kid born with purple hair? I guess in these games, anything's possible. You can have purple hair. You can have black hair. Okay, what, what are we doing now? Okay, we're just dropped right into the game right now. Do we have to figure out what to do? Is there going to be a tutorial? No mail today. Okay, so very similar premise here. Got mail, we got a farm. All hands on deck. And 30 days in a month too? Is this like a straight up Stardew Valley clone? I don't want to judge it just yet, you know, guys. I want to give it a fair shake. And is this the mayor? Hi there. You must have had a rough day yesterday. But I know your parents very well. They'd be happy knowing you came. Yeah, that you came. I'm so bad at dialogue. I wish I could welcome you to our town in better circumstances, but it's nice meeting you all the same. Unfortunately, I have to teach you much just now. There are a few minor things I must deal with. It may not be the season for farming, that doesn't mean you can't accomplish other things here. So wait, we're not going to start off farming? I guess we're going to be doing other things. I thought you'd like this. We got a hoe! Superman the hoe, I see you! Okay, we got a hoe, man. It's always good to have a few hoes around. You should be at least able to start shifting some of the snow on your farm with that thing. Great. After you're done, please come see me. So, we have a quest. Uh, movement, arrow keys, menu, escape key, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I finally figured out what to do. We have the space bar to move things, and we can finally clear our path a little bit. So, space bar. Right now, we don't have anything in our inventory besides what we just got. And it seems like doing this actually takes a decent amount of energy. So, we found wood. It seems like what we can find is pretty much random. What's this thing? Can I pick this up? I don't... It doesn't seem like I can pick up the flowers, and it's really hard to angle myself to do any of this stuff. What about this thing? Ah, oh, I can't break it. I need a hammer! Okay, so clearly we need to fill out our inventory with some tools and stuff, but that guy said he would be back for me. Uh, I'm just trying to see what kind of stuff I can move around right now, because that seems to be one of the only things we can do. So we're just finding a bunch of wood, and hopefully we can build some cool stuff with that. All right, I think I saw a few mounds over here. Let's go check that out. Oh, wait, there's a ton over here. Let's go check this out. One, just a bunch of wood. So is it all wood? It might all be wood. No, burnt bread. How? Why is that sitting out in the snow? Did someone throw it out the window? And is this whole farm ours? It's actually pretty big. 
we have like a bunch of buildings already. There's the well, as you guys can see, and Stardew Valley that didn't come with a well to start with. You had to build your own. All right, well, and the farm is way nicer looking because in Stardew Valley, you start out with, I found a bag of money. Are you kidding me, people? Why are you leaving out bags of money in the snow? A horseshoe? Wait, an unlucky shoe. Are you kidding me? Well, should I get rid of that? <laughs> Let's check my inventory. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be carrying around an unlucky unlucky um, horseshoe. That seems bad, right? All right, inventory. Whoa, oh my god, dude. This inventory is a disaster. Oh my god. Okay, well, it's it could be worse, but I think it's mostly made for mobile. I don't know if you get this game on mobile right now, but it seems like the entire system is designed to be mobile friendly. Um, unlucky shoe. What the hell do I do with this thing? Oh, apparently nothing. Okay, we're just gonna have to hope it doesn't actually make us unlucky or anything. Um, hmm, that flower up there looks like we should be able to pick it. What about this? Can I open the gate? So there's a cave right behind our area here. Alright, let's get this little lump. Oh, we got radish seeds. We got our first seeds, guys. Things are happening. So I think one of the other differences, I know I'm comparing the games a lot here between Stardew Valley and this game, is that this game actually has, I think, at least a few people working on it, whereas Stardew Valley was a one-man job. I still find that, like, super amazing and impressive to this day. Found wood. Finding a bunch of wood, of course. More wood. Uh, empty box. That seems not very useful. Okay, let's cross the bridge. Maybe there's something I missed over here. Uh-oh, it's is it nighttime? Oh my god, dude. Wow, that the screen change is insane, man. That almost like hurts my eyes there. And that like it it's probably good for my eyes. My whole screen just looks like it's uh if you guys ever use the program Flux where it changes what the f f flup is that, man? Is that a flupping Yeti? What in the name of Yeti Christ, man? That is so weird. We just saw a Yeti, right? That was that a Yeti? Was it a Bigfoot? I don't know, man. Okay, there's a lot of stuff happening around here then. I'm gonna run out of energy soon, I think. Um, we're just gonna keep picking these lumps up until we don't have any more, though. Okay, so what else is going on? What is this circle, pink circle here? Oh, man, we need a fishing rod. Okay, so those are the equivalent of bubbles, apparently. What Can we read this? Let's read this. Town West. Alright, well, we're gonna go up here and check things out. Is this the town? This is the town. Ah, uh, what am I stressing about here? This town is very interesting looking. It reminds me of Pokemon a little bit. Uh, okay. Obviously more of an anime style to this game. You guys have to let me know what you think of the style. I told you already, it's not happening. Your funds are dried up, you don't have much of a choice here. Your client is offering you a chance to leave this place behind you with a tidy sum in your pocket. So is this like a similar plot to Stardew Valley? I know I'm making way too many comparisons between the games right now, but like a JoJo plot here? Like, take the money and leave. The only thing I'm delaying is this fist in your mouth. Whoa, getting super aggressive here. Now get out of my office. We'll be seeing you again very soon. So they're threatening him. Wow, man, this game seems like a, like a legit straight up clone. I mean, I don't, don't want to judge it this early, but you guys will have to let me know what you think. Uh, it, it still might be fun to play. I haven't really heard anything otherwise. Okay, so he says, don't worry about what just happened. I actually needed to talk to you about what just, about this. Okay, so he wants to talk to us about this. Da, 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 da. Please come in. Oh, okay, he has a very suave mansion here. Your parents were quite vital to this town. Okay, so our parents lived here. We're getting some information. Without them, we're going to have trouble keeping the economy going. Unfortunately, those businessmen are right. If we don't come up with a plan, the town is going to be a mega mall. Okay, so literally just a straight up Joja plan here. Wow, man. That is funny. I mean, I didn't expect it to be, like, literally the same plot. Okay, so this guy's got a plan for us? What is he gonna do? We usually hold a special event around this time of year to invite the old of, out of tanners along. Out of tanners, I got suddenly a, a country accent here. So we build good relationships and make a tidy profit selling mushroom soup? Is that really your big plan, dude? What the? God, man, this town is up its own butt. This event is key to our survival. Really, mushroom soup is your plan. This guy is loony. The only problem is your parents are the only ones who made this mushroom soup possible. Wow, what a convenient situation. Come with me. Oh my god, man. I cannot take the color of the screen when it's dark out. It hurts my eyes. Like, the, the oranges are very offending. I was entrusted with this key. I now see... So literally, they're going to give me the mushroom cave that we got in Stardew Valley. That's what's going to happen, right? Bet you guys $5. 
Five dollar, I bet you five dollar. Oh, speaking of which, guys, I'm also giving out keys for this game. I have two to give away, I think. Maybe more? So leave a comment below and be subscribed to my channel. Um, and I'll probably be giving those away in the next few days. So stay tuned. Anyways, welcome to the underground farm. I never understood why I was given the key, but it makes perfect sense. Yeah, literally we are getting a mushroom cave. I knew it! It's warm enough in here to grow the mushrooms. These grounds hold the key to the mushroom soup. I just know it. Oh my god, man. It's literally happening. So, we're doing the same thing you do in Stardew Valley during the winter. We're growing mushrooms and doing other stuff until we can grow crops. I knew it! I can, however, help you get started. Take these. Turnip seeds. Oh, what? We're planting them in the cave, but there's no sunlight, right? What? Okay, and then eventually I guess we're gonna get to mushrooms. I was pretty much right, though. So this is basically a greenhouse, except it's a cave, and shouldn't be able to grow crops in it. I'm so confused, guys. You have no idea. Oh, man. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Jeffrey. We're gonna sell some, make, make some seeds. All right, let's try and figure this out. What are we gonna do? We're gonna plant some, uh, oh, I can't go to the other side. Like, literally, it, I, I can't. Like, this is it. This is, I only get three pieces of land. Or three, three places to plant my, you guys get my point. Okay, let's, uh, let's bring out the inventory. All right, inventory, seeds. The inventory is kind of atrocious, I gotta, I gotta admit that. So do we wanna grow all turnip, is that what he said? Or radish too. You know what? We're gonna try the turnips. All right, maybe I just have to select it. Let's see. Oh, and then I can select them. Okay, great. Do I have to water them too? I feel like that's gonna be important, right? Why does that look like a rock? That literally just looks like a hunk of rock. Okay, I guess it's supposed to be ground with seeds in it. I'll, I'll, I'll give them that much. Um, and then one more turnip. I think he wanted me to do turnip. If I screwed up, you guys let to let me know. But, that, I mean, it might be kind of nice not to have to water everything, but that's, of course, another mechanic of the game gone. Uh, so let's put that turnip in there. And now we still have the radish seeds, so we can plant those if we ever find space for them. So what do we do now? Do I just have... Uh, do I not have to water them? Alright, let's see what we got. Uh, empty box. Nope. I guess we're just not going to water them and, and hope for the best here, guys. So it didn't really tell me what I was supposed to do, if I was supposed to go to bed or anything, but I'm almost out of the energy. So let's see if I can go to bed, because that seems like a good idea right now. Let's see. How do I get in? Do I not sleep? That would be funny. If I just, like, didn't sleep in this game. Okay, is this our big one? What is this? Can I even go? Can you not even go in? Oh, okay, I can. Whoa. Is this, like, my crafting bench? Huh. Huh, this is interesting, guys. So, I don't know. If you guys have ever played the first version of this game, you'll have to let me know what it was like, because I have obviously no idea. Uh, how do I get in? Where do I go to... Do I not go to sleep? Like, there is no information about this. I don't know what I'm thinking about this game right now, guys. Oh, okay. This looks like it's the main cabin. W what do you guys think? You'll have to let me know in the comments if you if it's something you want to see or if it's just something that you, you think is going to be unplayable. All right, well, we figured out how to go to bed. Let's do that. So do I just wake up now? No, okay, we gotta obviously wait until 6 a.m. So, we got a mail. I got a mail, it's mail time. We gotta come up with a mail song and a mail dance. The milkman, he's coming to milk me. Or actually, hopefully not me, hopefully some cows. I know where you can get some milk for cooking. Come see me in the dairy butchery. Oh, Bretty. Is Bretty a dude or a girl? I've never seen the name Bretty before. Bretty. Bretty the Bretty the Milkman. Oh, it says Milkman. So that, that's sexist game. Come on now. You gotta be gender neutral. Alright, day two, guys. It's happening. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna finish the whole day before I have to stop the episode, but we're just gonna keep going. So wait, did I not take the mail? Apparently I can't take the mail, it's just gonna stay there and bother the frick out of me. Oh wait, what did it say again? Let me check one more time. Okay, so I think we gotta go into town now and go see that butcher. Or not butcher, um, dairy person. I'm, I'm mixing myself up here, guys. I think this is the way we get into town. Interesting. Oh, it's, uh, is that Joffrey? Hey! 
It's Jeffrey Joffrey. I can't, I can't see the name in the same light after watching Game of Thrones, you know. Okay. Good to see you. I hope the farm is working out well for you. We've literally planted three crops, man. Nothing is happening. Come with me. Hmm. What is going on here? These people are from out of town, those peasants. You can sell them your crops, huh? That Rigby looks pretty well-traveled. He probably has some stuff he could trade. Okay, and they utilize these people and they will lead to mushroom soup. I literally cannot believe the whole plot of this game is to make mushroom soup. I, I don't know if that's like a tongue-in-cheek joke or if I'm just not... I, if it, I don't, bleh, bleh. All right, so there's the seed cart. We can get new seeds, but we're, they, it's winter, so yeah, it's useless. Okay, so we're not going to buy seeds. Cool. Hopefully these things will help you. When you get the mushroom soup, bring it to me at my house. Wow, what if these, this is like an alien race that's just farming me for mushroom soup? And that's all they want. It feels kind of sinister, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Something, Some shenanigans are happening around here. It's not as it seems. All right, so we were going to talk to these peeps. Wait, we want to go to the butcher shop, too. Um, to get the milk, I think. But I'll buy any food you wish to sell. You don't have anything to sell. Okay. What about this person? They were selling, right? I've got a mushroom soup recipe available for the market day. I'll trade you for a turnip. And of course, we don't have a turnip yet. That will happen soon. What about this lady? Should talk to some people. Harry, I'll buy any old stuff you find. Uh, okay. Uh, let's sell this empty box. We, like, what other chances are going to need an empty box anyways, right? Um, burnt bread. We're not going to need that, right? This isn't a survival game. Unlucky shoe? Wow, that actually sells for a ton of money. Uh, dud matches... I think that's all trash. Okay, I think that's all we can sell. I definitely don't want to sell the wood because I think we'll need that at some point. Now, I don't know what for, but we did find that crafting bench in there, so that's going to be helpful. All right, so this is like the main square. Interesting. So I definitely like the style of this game a little bit. The way that the colors of the uh, screen turn when it's nighttime really bothers me, though. I don't know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your opinions about this game, though, and, and whether you want to see it again, and you know, st stuff like that. It's all very important to me, because I'm not going to play the game again if you guys think it's trash. It's obviously, I don't think it's on the same caliber as Stardew Valley, and I don't want to offend the developers by saying that, but I think he, it's clear he spent years on, on that game, and this game still maybe needs a little bit of work. I don't know if it's in early access, and uh, it's just my opinion, I guess. But it still might be really fun to play, so we're going to try it out. I can't figure out where I'm going. Shopping District North. Okay, let's go check that out. Seems like that's where the butcher shop would be. Can I pick flowers? I've been kind of wanting to see if I can pick anything. I can't. I cannot. There's got to be some kind of foraging, though, or else I'm going to be really sad, guys. Really, really sad. What does this say over here? Um, Hospital. Hopefully we don't end up there, right? But the fact that there is a hospital... Kind of makes me hopeful that there's a lot more content in this game than I originally thought. What is this? This seems like not what we wanted. Um, what is it? Are you just not gonna, not gonna give me anything? Okay. Heard any good gossip lately? So we got a gossiper. That's good. Every uh, good Stardew Valley game, not Stardew Valley game. Every good game like this needs some gossip, right? What is this? Irene's? Is that the butcher shop? I do not remember. Uh, no, clearly not. Okay, so where are we going here, folks? What is this? They have no information on the outside, but this is the right one. We found the cow person. All my products are imported through Rigby Daily, so they're always fresh. Okay, I gotta stop that accent before you guys hate me. If you carry it around in your backpack for a week, I can't be held responsible. So what, what what did I did I need to buy milk? I don't remember. Bacon, bacon, bacon. I don't need bacon right now, do I? Uh beef, no. So we haven't seen any point in cooking yet. Maybe to sell it. Who's this guy? Is this the milk delivery? Yes, it's Breddy. I'm very worried my cow has stopped giving me milk. Did you try milking it harder, Breddy? Did you even try that? When she gets like this, I usually give her ice tulips. Hmm. Five should be enough. Find them in the cold cave out in the woods. What is that? That's not my cave, right? I, 
Okay, general store. Hammer. Need to buy. Did we already go to the general store? I feel like we did. Okay, so the cold cave. This is where we are going. Oh, we can't get there because we don't have the hammer. So we need to go to the general store. General store and then to wilderness. Uh, let's see what this says. General goods. Yes, I'm, I'm doing the thing, guys. Uh, hammer. Yes. Please tell me I can afford it. Wow, it's cheap as heck, dude. Yes. Yes. We're doing so good, guys. So good here. I can't, I still cannot wrap my head around the fact that the plot right now is to make mushroom soup. So I, I can't harvest any of these things. Dang it. Dang it, man. All right, let's go to the woods. Ah, yes, here's the cave. Everything is working out quite nicely. This is it? What? This, this is the right cave, right? Am I going crazy, guys? Maybe this is the wrong cave. I, it, it must be the wrong cave, because otherwise we'd be able to do something. Weird, okay, is that the wrong cave? Like, how do I know? What about this? Can I, can I do that? I found a bag of money, how much money is that? Apparently it's not gonna say? That's super weird, man. There's the right cave, how do I get over there? There's so many caves already. This reminds me a lot of Pokemon, though. I know, I know any kind of anime style looking, uh, background with wild grass is gonna kind of look like Pokemon especially in 8-bit this is this is an 8-bit though this is uh I don't I, I'm really bad about game uh, knowledge stuff so it's, it's like 16-bit I don't know it's maybe not 8-bit let's let's see we gotta run parallel to the town ah there we go guys we're gonna be able to get that ice lotus for the cow that's what we're doing right be nice if there was like something showing our quests up in the top so like I knew what to do Ah, I could have bought a fishing pole. There's a lot of these little special spots here. And then again, the fishing system could be frustrating. I, I mean, I don't want to judge it yet, but we don't need any fish right now, so we shouldn't bother. Cold cave! Yes! What the hell? This creepy dude's doing in here. Just hanging out in here. Mermit. I bet he's a hermit. <laughs> okay, welcome to the cold cave. There's plenty to find in here, but you'll need a hammer. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we can actually break through rock now, which should unlock a lot of stuff for us. This guy is gonna like narrate our every move like a weirdo. Okay, dude, I don't like that. I don't appreciate it. It's not nice. That's the way, son. I love watching your rippling muscles swing at those rocks. Oh, yes, let's oil them up. Okay, that got a little weird. Okay, there's our first ice lotus behind here, and it's just kind of hanging out. It's just kind of hanging out. All right, let's grab it. Yay! I mean, Ice Tulip. Why did I think Ice Lotus? Eh, flowers, they're all the same. What about this? Can I pick this up? No? Oh man. Alright, well, I, I can definitely pick up the wood here. That's a nice cold wood. That's literally what it said. Can I pick it up, sir? It's, it's a nice cold wood. Why can't I pick it up, then? Ah, that's frustrating, guys. Um, okay, so this one, let's, I guess we just break open everything. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't because of the energy thing. I gotta be careful, because every time I do this, I lose, like, like a third of my energy or something. So we can basically only get the ice lotus. Okay, so I'm guessing I have to go through the other way. Let's see. Can I go up here? Yes, I can. Okay, what about, why can't I pick up the cold wood? Makes me mad, guys. It makes me super mad. Okay, here's our next one. Now we have three, and we need two more. Didn't even tell me this time. We gotta spend that energy wisely, though. If we ran that energy, I, I don't know. I'd be very disappointed, because then we'd have to wait until the next day to do anything. And it looks like on the other side of this one, there are rocks we can't break. Just like in Stardew Valley, we're gonna have to upgrade that mallet, it appears. Or hammer, whatever it is. Um, 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 let's try and not break through anything. Okay, I have to here. This is a very weird cave system in that it's not dark whatsoever. It looks like it's just daylight out here. And I have to open this. What the frick? Is this like going to be a Pokemon style puzzle here? Am I going to run out of uh, energy? Time will tell here, guys, but I think it's definitely a possibility. Um, and every wrong move is bad. All right. Oh, no, I made a wrong move. Okay, this 
may be bad and we may have to wait until the next day. I bet if we stay too late, even though it hasn't explained to me that that's possible, we will have to go to the hospital. And so I do want to watch that. I think this was a wrong move over here. But there's a box over here, so I'm going to take it. And it looks like we have about one more, uh... Whoa. Ginger turnips. Okay, so that's kind of nice. At least now we know there's some sort of cooking system. We're kind of figuring things out. But I don't I don't see there's any ice lotus down this way, so maybe we should have gone the other way. I'm going to try this one, and this is the last one we can do. And I, I might be trapped. Oh, shoot. I am out of energy. Yes, there's an ice lotus, but we're going to have to wait until the next day to finish off, it seems. Uh, let's check our inventory. Uh, I, I don't remember what it was. V, C... B? I don't remember what my inventory was. There's so many buttons. Oh, I hate, I really hate the inventory system, guys. I, that's one thing I gotta say. Yes, okay, we need, I hate how it duplicates items and just repeats them across the screen if there's nothing else. It's so, so, like the worst system for inventories I have ever seen. And this, this isn't supposed to be a review necessarily, but there's some things that I just gotta comment about. All right, we gotta get home. I don't even know how we're going to get home with this. Oh, we just go down this way. And then hopefully not end up in the hospital. I don't want to lose this nice cash we got going here right now. So I'm guessing it's the same system as Stardew Valley. Because a lot of stuff in this game appears to have been inspired from uh, Harvest Moon and Stardew Valley. And I mean, it's I don't I haven't played enough Harvest Moon to really say. But that's what the case seems to be, guys. I can't really say necessarily if it... Harvest Moon is so similar to Stardew Valley that it's not even a ripoff of Stardew Valley. But, you know, I'm not going to say it's a ripoff just yet. Alright, let's go to sleep, and then we're going to get the last Lotus piece when we wake up. Oh, I leveled up? No, I didn't. It just refilled my energy. Disappointing. Who the heck is this guy? Sherry. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, I know you guys hate my girl voices. Or What do you guys think? I've had some people hate on my girl voices before. Really dis discourage me from making my character voices. Uh, so you guys let's comment about that. Anyways, uh, I don't know if anybody told you this, but there's a party on today. Woo woo! We're meeting up in the mountains. There's a big prize up for grabs. So meet us there when you're finished doing whatever it is you do here. Wow, woman. That's rude. That's rude, woman. All right, let's uh, let's get back into town here. And by back into town, I mean we're what? Oh, for God's sake, an event. Okay, so I'm gonna go to cancel. This is where I'm gonna end the episode, guys. If you want to see me do another episode just to figure things out, I would definitely oblige you guys. But make sure you leave a comment, a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know that you do want to see more. Let me know what you think of the game, also, and hopefully we'll make another one. See you guys next time.